This is unreal. Holy shit. All right, stay with me here on this, folks. You do not have to be a creator, photographer, or filmmaker to understand what I'm about to talk about, what I'm about to share with you, because I really want to get under the hood of this iPad Air and really see what this sky blue can do. Apparently, you just stepped into Sesame Street because we're about to rhyme. Let's go. What is going on, you beautiful humans? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, today, to reiterate, you do not have to be a filmmaker or photographer to appreciate what we are going to be doing when we get under the hood of this thing and really hit the gas, pedal to the metal, and push this thing to the limits. Now, a little bit of context here for those of you who know anything about filmmaking or cameras or watching television. And when we talk about 1080p and 4K and 4K's resolution, so if you know what I'm talking about, as creators, many of you are probably thinking about buying a camera, upgrading your camera, looking to get in the space. And I've always talked about being able to make sure that you can edit 4K footage. If you're filming in 4K and you wanna edit in 4K, do you have a device that will allow you to do that? Well, recently the Sony a7S III and the Canon R5 were announced, launched, and creators are now using it. And thank you so much, Josh Yo from Make Art Now. I'm gonna link up his channel. Beautiful human, beautiful creator, he's amazing. And what he's done is he's actually shared his Sony a7S III footage for educational purposes so that we can put this thing in a timeline and show you that this is 10-bit H.264 footage, 4K, various frame rates, it's a lot of information. It is not the same kind of 4K that's coming out of my camera that I'm talking to you in right now. It is literally so leveled up, so much data, that it is, it's gonna choke out that MacBook Pro behind us. I know that it is. And so, disclaimer there, that's a 13 inch, it's a 2017 uh, 13 inch. However, I'm going to connect my external graphics card to it, a Vega 64. Um, I did a video on that. I'm gonna connect that. It's got eight gigs of, of video RAM. It is a, a desktop grade graphics card. But the iPad Air, let's actually see what this thing can do. All right, here we are in Final Cut Pro, and I do have my eGPU connected, Vega 64 here. I'm not gonna do a screen recording of this because I don't wanna tax the system as it is. And again, I realize the external graphics card does have bottleneck, through the Thunderbolt 3. It is not a highly spec machine. I completely understand. This is just some for some perspective. You can do your own research and find other creators that are having trouble. And in Final Cut Pro, I edit all my 4K footage, no issues. And I literally tried to bring a clip in and it crashed immediately. So I only have three clips in here. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get, but it'll just kind of give you some perspective and just We'll just take a look at the footage. It is S-Log, so I'm not color grading anything because I really just want to be able to view it. So let's actually take a look at that. This is 4K 24 frames, this one here. I mean, dropping frames like crazy. All right, let's blow that up. I would honestly have to work with proxies at this point, and I don't even know if that would be as effective. I don't typically like to do that. I like to not work that way. So this here is 1080, 240 frames. Let's blow that up. Not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. So to give you perspective, let's flip over to the iPad and take a look at that. All right, so we're set up here in LumaFusion. I already have all of the clips here. So this is that same 4K, 24 frames. I went ahead and actually uh, graded it. So I added some color, switched some things up a little bit. So I've added that already. So trying to tax the system a bit more. So let's actually come back out and see what that looks like. 
let me let me go full screen for you. I haven't stabilized it or anything. It really doesn't do it justice that you're seeing it through the camera on the monitor. But the dynamic range, everything that you can recover. Actually, this one isn't graded. Let's, uh, let's go out of full screen. And of course, if you saw my other video, I'm on an ultra wide. And unfortunately, with iPad OS, you're going to get these black bars with an ultra wide. I wish that they would let us. Um, mess with that be able to adjust that oh my gosh i'm as i'm as i'm just adding some color in here the dynamic range just being able just seeing like what i'm getting out of this already wow come back up No drop frames. Here's another one that I actually corrected at night. This one is 4K, I believe 60 on this one. So let's come back out. And then I believe we have like another clip here. So just adding on top of the timeline. So just adding another clip on top of it. Um, I believe that this is color graded just slightly. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect. I would spend a lot more time on the correction. This one here is 100. This is 4K and I believe... 60, no wait, hold on. This is 4K, 120, 120 frames, uh, daytime. And this is, this is the clip ungraded. So that's the clip ungraded. And let's actually go to the clip with it being graded, graded. See what that looks like. Let's actually do a render test. So let me throw in a couple more clips. I'm just going to throw in this clip. How about we add a transition? So we'll add in a transition there. We will we'll correct that too to vibrance. Bring the contrast. Just kind of mess with that a little bit. Grab a bit more color. Nothing dropped. I'm Scott. Let me let me add another one. Let's just correct that one too. Because the more you're adding any kind of transitions and correction, that's more on the system. Okay. I'm actually doing this for the first time. 
I had these clips in, I was correcting some of them, but I haven't laid them all out like this. So you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. All right, so why don't we add just one more clip, see how it goes uh, about this one. Bring that in here. A little correction. Just give it a little something. Now you see it's it's definitely taking a second to load there. So I know it's working. The iPad itself doesn't really feel it doesn't really feel I mean it's warm. It's definitely warm. All right, why don't we actually try to render it, color corrected, couple transitions in there, nothing too crazy, but it's a two minute clip. Let's actually see, I'm gonna do movie, uh, files, we'll, we'll just put it locally. 4K, 24 frames, ultra, can't get any higher video quality than that, H264. Let's get the stopwatch going here. And, ready it's already rendering it faster than real time <laughs> why don't we get through this and then we'll get to the end and just see how it all plays out One twenty. One minute 20 seconds unbelievable nuts all right, there it is. I told you, this thing screams. Hit me up in that comment section below because you know, if you're new to the channel, then you probably don't know. But for those of you who have recently subscribed, you're always telling me, dude, you're always in the comment section. I know, I love hanging out with you. And the thing is, is I do sleep every now and again, so I might not get back to you right away, but this is where I am most of the time. So as I always say, go out there and do those things that matter. Keep rocking the faces. I'm going to keep creating some value and content for you here. You go do the things, and I'll catch you right back here on the next one.